This is why some people like hearing it when I communicate because they're like, you don't, you, you don't go around any corners. You just like literally cut straight through and you're like, hey, he didn't care. And you're like, I don't want to hear that. Okay, well, that's the reality. That's the truth. And we have to be able to look at that based on the facts of the situation, being able to see, okay, how did he actually demonstrate that he loved you? Well, he didn't because he went and he cheated on you. How did he actually demonstrate that he cared about you? Well, he didn't because he continued to do this. And the list goes on and on and on. The narcissist might not just cheat on you physically. It might be emotionally. It might be sexually in one aspect. It might be sexting. It might be just cheating you out of your time, out of your energy, cheating you out of your money or all the money that you earn goes to him and he's a freeloader and he doesn't actually do anything or he can't keep a job. Like they will continue to steal from you over and over and over again. And the only way it stops is when you actually stop it. There's not this magical moment that you say something or do something and it's like, oh, I'm out. No, he will continue to use and abuse you over and over. I was talking to a client the other day and she was struggling with the fact that he was financially abusing her when she was the breadwinner, made all the money, but he took it as soon as she brought it home. And the thing I had to let her know very frankly, is I said, hey, he's going to continue to do this. There is no end in sight as long as you keep giving him money. Like if you keep letting him take this, when it is your money, you earned it and he's not even contributing at all. If you keep letting him do this, it will not end. Because he will continue to take it. He will continue to steal it out of underneath of your nose and continue to do what he wants to do because he's getting that supply. That's just a physical supply of he's actually getting money. So you need to understand it's going to continue to happen over and over and over again. Narcissists will use and abuse you to get what he wants in the moment. That is the main piece. What can I actually get out of you? That's the thought process. That's the idea. So you need to be able to understand this when you're in a toxic, narcissistic relationship. Well, how do you actually start moving forward to break free? Your mindset has to shift. And part of it is we have to walk you through the hard truths of this is the reality. Reality number one is he didn't care. Reality number two is he doesn't love you. And you need to understand these things starting off is they're not easy to be able to understand. They're not easy to be able to feel, but you need to be able to hear them. And if anything, my goal is just help wake you up so you actually hear them. He doesn't care. He hasn't shown care. He hasn't shown love. He hasn't shown respect. He hasn't shown honesty. He hasn't shown integrity. These things have to be demonstrated. If they're not being demonstrated and you don't see it by evidence of these actions, then there is nothing you can hold on to. You're living in a fantasy world. You're holding on to a dream, thinking that he's going to get better, hoping that he's going to get better. But at the same time, he keeps dragging you forward into the mud over and over and over again because you're believing a lie. The narcissist doesn't care about you. The narcissist cares what you do for him. The narcissist cares of how you increase his image. The narcissist cares of what money he gets from you. But the narcissist doesn't care about you. It's one of the hardest realities that you need to understand to help you move forward. My goal is you start waking up to some of these to be able to help you start to move forward in who you actually are, to actually unlock the version of you that you've been looking for for such a long period of time that he's squandered away, that he's sedated, that he's pushed down and not let you actually rise up in power of who you're created to be. Some of you watching this don't have a clue of who you are. I'm not coming at you. I'm just saying this is your current reality. Your reality is you're struggling to know who you even are. You go to the store and you can't even make a decision about what you're supposed to get. You start to struggle of like, I don't even want to get out of bed in the morning, much less go to the gym. How am I even supposed to work out? I feel depressed. I feel like I'm struggling with my weight, with my image. All of these things happen when you're in a toxic relationship. Then I want you to understand they don't have to define you. It doesn't have to be what is there for the rest of your life. You can actually move forward and heal and grow from it, but it takes a decision from you. Because at the end of the day, you deciding to work on you is the biggest thing you can do. It's the biggest revenge you can have on the narcissist. It's the biggest help that you can move forward in your healing is you deciding that you are going to work on you regardless of all the shit in the past, regardless of what he said, regardless of what he's done, that you actually say, hey, you no longer have an emotional, a mental, a physical hold over me. I am moving forward with my life to be happy, healthy, healed, whole, and be the person that I'm actually called to be. But that takes a decision on your part. And if you're not willing to make the decision, then stop watching.
Notice I didn't say you had to make a decision to go no contact. Notice I didn't say you had to make a decision to file divorce. I said you have to make a decision for you that you're willing to actually invest in you, in your growth, in your development, because he's not going to let you do that. He's not going to let you like have an opinion, have your feelings, invest in you learning and growing, developing who you actually are. He doesn't care. The only person that can care and the only person that can change in this moment is you. You can't fix him. You can't change him. You can't make him better. The best thing you can do is work on you. Learn how you can actually move and grow and develop each day, waking up in power. And in power, I mean where you show up in a healthy way, mentally and emotionally, where physically you're able to actually have energy and do the things required to be able to lead yourself, to be able to lead your family, to be able to lead your kids, to be able to work with your coworkers, to be able to run your business. You actually show up in power saying, hey, this is who I am and I'm able to stand in that. Regardless of what he's done, regardless of my past, I'm able to actually stand firm and grow. But again, this comes down to a piece of decision. And if you're not willing to make a decision, then you should leave. Because this isn't a place just to be a free for all for everyone's thoughts and feelings and not have action. Because if you do not have action, nothing changes. And if you're willing to stay the same, then stay the same. But understand that nothing will change, nothing will grow, nothing will develop, nothing will transform your life without there being action. You might be like, well, I'm just waiting on the right time. I'm just waiting on the right motivation or inspiration. None of that shit works long term. You cannot have motivation until you have movement. Until you actually have a movement of what is going on. People are like, well, I'm waiting for motivation. Then I'll get my momentum going. Then I'll start moving forward. I'll start planning out 2024. I'll I'll plan my exit strategy. I'll figure this out. You can't do that until you actually start to have movement. The car doesn't have this giant momentum. It still starts rolling. And so if you're watching this today, I need you to make a decision. Not for me. Not for your kids. Not for your family, not for your boss, not for your job, not for your ex-partner, not for anybody, but for you and you only. I need you to make a decision. Take the next step in you actually healing and moving forward. Click on the link in the bio, escapetoxicity.com. It's a seven-day challenge, $7. There's no hidden fees, no hidden agendas. We're just saying, hey, take this information, understand, get involved with a community that's actually focused on helping you heal. If that resonates and if that connects with you, then we'd love to continue working with you. But this is the opportunity for you to say, okay, I need to learn the hard truths. I need to work through setting my boundaries. I need to process the guilt and shame. I need to deal with the the guilt of the reactive abuse that I've had in the relationship. I need to step forward and understand what these things are and understand how to be free. That takes a decision on your part. That's it. A decision for you to step up for you, for your health, for your growth, for your development. If you're ready to make that decision today, click on the link in the bio, go to escapetoxicity.com, escapetoxicity.com. Seven day challenge for $7 to help you start your journey to break free from toxicity. Start today. Don't hold back because you're waiting for motivation or momentum or anything else, but make the action today for you to actually grow. Make the choice for you.